Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do image classification in the Autolytics Hub. We're going to go over the whole pipeline of how we can set up a data set inside the Autolytics Hub, how we can choose a model for doing classification with ULV5 or ULV8 from Autolytics. Then we're also going to see how we can use the new cool feature where we can do cloud training as well. So we have the whole computer vision project pipeline inside Autolytics Hub, so you can do anything in there now. No lines of code, you only have to do a few clicks, upload your data set, train the model directly in there, you can export the model, or you can set up the inference API as well. So this is pretty cool, let's cover it, let's just jump straight into it and see how we can do image classification with Autolytics Hub. So first of all here, let's just jump straight into the documentation, let's go over what image classification is, and then we're going to jump into the Hub and do everything with just a few clicks. So first of all, image classification is basically just the simplest task out of the three where we have like detection, optic detection, optic segmentation, and also classification. So image classification is basically just where we try to like classify an entire image into the predefined classes that we have. So when we're doing image classification, we basically just need a bunch of images and examples of the classes that we want to classify. So if you're taking cats and dogs, if you want to do a classification of those two classes, then we just need a bunch of images of cats and also dogs. We don't need any bounding boxes at all. We just need to take the whole image and we're doing classification on the entire image. So if you just go through the documentation here, we already have a video covering all of that, how we can run this on your own local machine, set it up, how we can set up the different classes and so on, and also how we can extract the results. So definitely check that out. In this video, we're going to see how we can do the whole pipeline in the Autolytics Hub, so you don't need to write any code at all. So one of the things here that we should cover if you're going to use your own custom dataset in the Autolytics Hub is this dataset format. We basically just need to have this YOLO classification dataset format, but it is pretty standard. We can go inside and see the dataset guide. So everything that we need in this classification dataset, we only need our root directory. We need a class one, two, three, depending on the number of classes that you have. So let's say that you have like N classes, you basically need N folders. Inside of each folder, we just need to have our instances and examples that we actually want our model to learn to classify. So let's say that we have class one. Then we just need to have a bunch of different images and examples inside our class one folder because for these images, we want to classify it as class one. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see we actually have an example here where we have airplane, automobile, and also a bird. And then we just have a bunch of images for each individual uh, class. And then we have to just have a train, test, and validation folder. So the most important here is that we have a train and validation. We don't need a test, but that is always good to have. So this is everything that we need. We just need to have this folder structure and we're good to go. We can upload our data set into the Autolytics Hub and I'm going to show you that now. So to show you guys how we can use a custom data set, I have this data set inside of RoboFlow, which is basically just for detecting different types of tumors. So in this example here, we have four classes that we want to do detections on. We have this glioma tumor, all these other different types here, and then we also have no tumor. If we just go in and take one look at them, we just have all these images here in our data set, and this is just the whole image that we're doing classification on. So this is our training set. This is for no tumors. This is for an actual -like tumor of these MRI scans. And this is everything that we need to have. So we have our train, we have our classes, and this is the folder structure that we need, both our train and our validation set. So if you jump straight into the Autolytics Hub, you can just go in to the data sets, upload your data set, drag and drop in here, you set up your data set name, description, and then you upload a zip file with the correct folder structure, and you will be able to see it in here. I've just done that. It's basically just throwing in the folder and you're good to go. We can see that we have four classes exactly as in the fold structure that I showed you before, and we have 188 images in total. So if we go inside our data set, we can see that we have a bunch of different information for our train validation and test split, and we can also see some of the image examples over here to the right. We can also get an overview basically to see our class distribution, data split, so both for our train and also our test or our validation, and also the class distribution down here to see if we have some class imbalances and so on. This actually looks pretty good. It, it looks like we have around like 40 instances for most of the classes, except this one here. We have a bit more for that, 50, but that should still be good enough to train our model. So now we have just gotten an overview over our data set. The only thing that we have to do now is hit train model, and then we don't have to do anything else. Just click a couple more times and we're training a custom classification model with Ultralytics. So here we see project, test, 
and you can choose any of these models. So we have these YOLO V8 models, the nano, small, medium, large, and extra large. You can get a quick overview over the accuracy and also the speed. So let's just go with a small model. In this example, we hit continue, and now we can set up the training. So we can either specify the number of epochs that we want to run it for, timed here, so act like how long we want to train a model for. That could be like we want to train a model for an hour, and then once it has trained for an hour, we just want to terminate it and use that model after training. But right now, we're just going to go with epochs. Let's just set this to 30 epochs and see if that is enough. We can choose the available instance. Right now, we're going to choose an NVIDIA T4 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So 0.75 dollars per hour so again you can train your models very fast and also relatively cheap you can also go in and use this google call out notebook or bring your own agent if you want to train locally either pay up now here or use your ultralix hub account let's just do that again choose the model choose the number of epochs set up the data set choose the instance here start training and now we're actually training a custom classification model it will just take a couple of minutes here to set up the instance and then it's going to start the training it will lock the metrics live directly inside the ultralytics hub as well so we can see basically all the metrics the model accuracy on the validation set live directly so now we can see that the training has started if we just scroll a bit further down we can see the metrics they're getting locked over time we can follow the model accuracy here and also the losses so that is very cool we don't have to do anything now just in a few clicks we can train our own custom models and this works both for post estimation object detection rn bounding boxes and now also classification so after the model is done training, we can go inside the deploy. We can also get a preview where we can go in and just throw in a couple of examples just to see how our model is actually like doing predictions. Once we're satisfied with our model, we don't want to train it more. We can go in and deploy it with the Autolytics Hub Inference API, or we can also export the model and use it in our own local environment. So that's pretty much it. This is how we can create a whole classification pipeline on custom data sets with Autolytics Hub. No lines of code, only a few clicks, upload your data set and you're good to go. Then you can train your own custom classification models. So I hope you have learned a ton this video here. Definitely go in and check out the Autolytics Hub and test it out on your own custom data sets or else I'll just see you next video guys. Until then, happy training.